So he used to call him Gongura. My mother and my father, they were singing bhajan. Mm. And one round, and two round, and three round, four round, five round. Oh my God. And the only thing they did was Sai Ram, Sai Ram, Sai Ram. And the whole car was almost smashed. Sarah Madam, as you mentioned, your father, Jagneshwar Gogoi, he had many incredible experiences with Bhagwan, and he continues to inspire so many people. So, if you can tell us one or two of those uh, beautiful moments of his presence that he experienced in his life. Yes, my father, he, he was always sitting in the veranda. You know, like his Gogoi, it's a little bit difficult, maybe, you know, some di- different names. So, he used to call him Gongura. Mm-hmm. So, so that was, uh, yes, Gongura means everybody knows Gongura, who is Gongura. I narrate one ex- uh, incident as about um, his Swami saving again for the second time. Because first time it was during the war and this is the second time he, Swami saved him. He was traveling from Guwahati to Shillong which is a three hours journey. He was driving the car himself and my mother was sitting, it was an ambassador car. And only thing they do at that time, you know, sing bhajans. So they were nicely, my mother and my father, they were singing bhajan, one Shiva bhajan, they were singing and coming. And suddenly in one curving, one bus was there, crossing them and another police car was coming very fast in front. So it struck, you know, just against my father's car and it turned over into the, you know, side of the gods. And one round, and two round, and three round, four round, five round. Oh my God. And the only thing they did was Sai Ram, Sai Ram, Sai Ram. My mother was, they, they had no belts. At that time, it was not compulsory. They didn't have belts to wear, you know. She was just rolling there, but my father was holding the steering wheel. And it turned upside down on a stream very far below. And the whole car was almost smashed. None of the windows were all gone, doors were all, you know, gone. And then my father tells my mother, open the door. Still talking, okay. And she pushed the door and she comes out. He pushed his door, it fell out. It was all crushed and then they came out and they started walking up. (laughs) Oh my God. See, they started walking up, up the hill. And there was a, some construction was going on, so all the people they came running to see the bus stop, the police uh, car stop, and what happened. And as they came up, they reached up walking like that. And then uh, uh, this, uh, they asked, Where is the driver? Then my father said, Voto Margya. Actually, he was driving. <laughs> no, even though he was driving, he, he was said, driving. No, that person is gone. So then they took him. Uh, they all took them to one Nongpo, that's the midway between Chilong and uh, Guwahati. So there they had some, you know, first aid. Just, my father was just hurt. He hurt his nose here. And there was a small plaster and that's all. My mother was not hurt at all. Wow. Even after doing somersault five times. Five times. Oh my God. And the car was, except for the engine was all right, everything gone. It was smashed from all sides. And then later on, one Assamese lady from, after maybe few months, she went to uh, Puttaparthi. She was very disturbed and she was, you know, complaining that Swami is not meeting me, he's not giving me, I have so much problem and this and that, this and that, this and that. Then Swami called her for an interview. Then she started again her complaints. I've come to you, you are not giving this, I pray to you so much, I want this, I want that, this thing. Swami said, see, I saved Gogoi from the car accident. You think I I cannot do anything for you? If I can save him, I can also do something for you. I can do everything for you. So that's how she came back again to Assam and she told my father, see, that's what Swami has said. Wow. 
awesome <laughs> I know there'll be so many more such stories, and I think that is what also gave him all the strength and and uh, strengthened oh, yes. his faith yes. to work for Bhagwan. Wow! That's what every moment is for Bhagwan only now. Beautiful. Thank you so much, ma'am. Sai Ram. Sai Ram. Sai Ram. This is Prashad. I have to eat. This is Prashad. I have to eat. She was trying to finish it. And she sees Swami coming out from there. Shakshi, Shakshi, get up, see. Not one, two second. You see, just halak se Swami ko they can't finish. No, it was not that. And this is something one biggest miracle, I think. <laughs>